a rear diffused illumination surface. It uses diffused light to permeate through the touch surface. You don't have to have a compliant layer like the FTIR and you can use a piece of glass or acrylic as the very top surface which a lot of people use for applications like in the bar system or used for nightclubs. Uh, Microsoft Surface uses the same kind of thing. They use a rear DI system with a top layer of acrylic. Okay, so looking inside a typical rear DI box, you have your infrared illuminators. Here we're using a four bar kit from Environmental Lights. They have a really nice setup here. It uses a strip of high brightness LEDs. And you can see that they're on right now, which is why you have that pink glow. They're the 850 nanometer wavelength. They have a 120 degree viewing uh, beam angle, so they really fill up the box with light, uh, much better than those uh, security CCTV lamps that a lot of people use, which have a very narrow 15 or 30 degree uh, beam angle. Sure, they can you know light up a subject really far away, but we're only working with typically a few feet when you're building a rear DI box, so you want to have something with a really, really wide beam angle and really high bright intensity so that your light comes out of the, you know, fills the box area and comes out right exactly where your fingers are so it reflects the light back down to the camera. A uh, four bar kit consists of, and they also have two bar kits, but a four bar, a typical kit will consist of bars, connector wires going in between. They've also added this new thing, which is a dimmer. It's touch, so you turn on, turn off, and then you can also dim or not dim fainter and brighter so you can make them less bright if you need to more bright just depends on what your setup is okay for the rear DI setup it has the four bar kit installed on every edge here I've dropped some clear acrylic and then the rear projection 7512 on top LEDs are on, and also, once again, perfect blobs. Now, the blobs are really good due to the rear projection material again. And you can see it's only as soon as you just touch the surface that you're getting really good blobs. Another option for the rear DI instead of the 4 bar LED kit, if you are having problems with larger setups, which is often the problem of getting uh, not enough light in the corners because you place the bars in the center of each of the sides, so a lot of the problems you'll have is you'll get really good tracking like in the center and stuff, but when you go to the corners, you won't get good tracking at all. Uh, to make sure you don't get that, you can get the LED modules from Environmental Lights, which is basically a three uh, module is three LEDs of the highest brightness LED ribbon that they currently sell. It's 850 nanometer and 120 degree beam angle LEDs. Uh, you would typically want to use the 3M tape that you can see here, and you want to stick it to the uh, you know your inside of your box and attach them all the way along. You can get them in kits of 25, 50. Etc. and you can cut them anywhere you want, run them off of a standard, you know, 60 watt, which is what the kits come with, or you can run as many as you want. Um, I just have them strewn around the inside of the box here, um, and then you would want to take the uh, enclosed box, because you would want to enclose the box because it's a rear DI setup, uh, but for just demo purposes here, uh, we can get pretty good results um, without the box closed. You'll get even more brighter blobs uh, with the box closed because the light will bounce around inside and only come out the top instead of coming out the large side over here. But as you can see, pretty similar results to the rear DI that we just saw using the LED bars. But this is a great way to make sure you don't get any uh, you know, loss of infrared light at the corners because you can strew it anywhere you want. You can even double it back or do whatever configuration you want.